Hello to all my viewers. Today we are going to discuss how to run hierarchical regression analysis in Jamal. Regression analysis is used to assess the relationship between one dependent variable and several independent variables. In case of hierarchical regression, it is an appropriate tool for analysis when the variance on the criterion variable is being explained by the predictor variables that are correlated with each other. Hierarchical regression is in many ways similar to the standard multiple regression. The only difference being in the way the independent variables are entered in the model. This model pro modeling procedure is called hierarchical as we are entering the independent variables based on certain rules of hierarchy. Researchers commonly use this method when they have a theoretical reason to build models in a hierarchical manner. Say for example. We want to say that in case of stage 1, education is affecting the current salary. In stage 2, we will enter one more variable that is the education and the beginning salary of an employee affecting the current salary. In stage 3, education, beginning salary, months since hired affecting the current salary. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. In each step, we add independent variables and test whether there is a significant difference in R square or not. Moreover, the change should be significant and the p value should be less than 0 0.05. It's quite possible that as when we go on adding the variables, the multicollinearity problem will occur. So, multicollinearity refers to a situation when two or more independent variables are highly correlated with each other. So, hierarchical regression is the easiest method to detect multicollinearity among the independent variables. Now, how we can run this? Let's see. For this purpose, I'm going to use an employee data set in which we are having a variable gender, birth date, education of an employee. If any employee has completed an education till third or first year, it will be 12 plus 1, second year of the college, 12 plus 2. Then we are having a job category, clerical, custodial, and managerial. The current salary of an employee, beginning salary of an employee, job time. That is, an employee is with us from last how many months? His or her previous experience. Minority, an employee is present in minority, yes or no. We want to run the hierarchical regression. In my previous video, we had already discussed about the linear regression. Click on linear regression. Transfer, dependent variable salary. In covariance, transfer, education. Beginning salary, job time, and previous experience. Now you will check the collinearity statistics if we are having any. So you can see here this value, we have value, should not be more than 5 and tolerance should not go below 0 0.2. Basically, they both are inverse of each other. Now you go in model builder and first of all remove all these variables. Now we will enter one variable in one block. Add new block, salary begin, add new block, job time, add new block previous experience. Now the Jamovi generates the model as model 1 where only education is there. Model 2 education and salary begin is there. Model 3 education salary begin and job time is there and model 4 where education salary begin job time and previous experiences. Which model is better? That will be completely based on R square. You can see that in each step the R square is increasing. In case of first model, the R square is only 43%. Moreover, this change in R square, delta R square, it should be significant. This P the desirable thing is this P value should be less than 0 0.05. Then we can say that the change is significantly large. Moreover, you can compare the model with the help of Akai K information criteria. A small tick here. 
scroll it and just check in the model fit methods AIC. Now, how to interpret AIC is smaller the number, better is the model. Again, repeat smaller the value of AIC, better is the model. model. So you can see here that the fourth number model, its AIC is very, very less, and therefore this model is the good model in comparison to other three models. So this is a way you can run hierarchical regression analysis in Jamovi. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Jamovi.